G'day everybody, Nick Walsh and Two Clicks up again. We're just going to do a, a quick little video here on uh, the final shine up of some brass I've got. Uh, I've been mucking around with this and getting pretty good results. Um, just with the dry tumbler, the brass has been through the sonic cleaner, it's done all the case prep, we've uh, full length resized it, chamfered the necks, trimmed it, etc, etc, done all the flash holes. Now this is basically just the last, the last stage of getting the brass shined up uh, before we reload it. So uh, I've got 194 um, PPU 2D3s, they're all once fired. As you can see, they're not the shiniest ones in the world. I've put them through the Sonic Cleaner and etc. etc. And they just haven't wanted to come up too shiny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run them through the Berries uh, dry tumbler. I'm using the uh, Lime and Corn Cob Media. That's that's all that is. I found that on some spe on a special the other day, so I can use that. And I'm going to put in with that two capfuls of new finished car polish they call it the once a year car polish there's no wax in this one so it uh it should work all right and i'm getting pretty good results uh, out of it so what we'll do is we'll uh undo the under the cap get the lid off undo the um the car polish give them a shake as i always forget to give them a good shake up Okay, we give them a shake up and uh, I'm just pouring in. We you know, I usually well, these are pretty actually fairly badly sore, so I'm going to put equivalent of two capfuls in, or what I think is the equivalent of two capfuls. Um, I've done a bit with it, so there'll be a bit of residual in there. That's plenty, that is absolutely plenty. So, what we'll do, put him over there. And we'll put the uh, put the brass in and see how we go. Okay, we're back. Uh, we've got all the brass in now. I've got a bit things a bit out of order here. Usually, I'll put the polish in and then fire the machine up and just let it roll around for a minute or two just to spread around. But uh, in my haste to get this done, I've put the uh, brass in on top of the polish, as you can see there. So we'll this is just a lottery to see how it goes. I think it'll work. We should be right. So. Uh, Uh, let them buzz around for about four hours, which is now two o'clock, so we'll come back around dinner time and uh, we'll, we'll have a look at them and see how we go from there. Okay, we're back. Um, I'll put it on at two o'clock, it's just gone up by seven, so these have had about five and a half hours in the uh, project tumbling around in the media, in the tumbler now with the polish in it. So, just by looking at what I can see through the uh, plastic, they do look pretty clean. So, uh, we'll start to pull a few out and uh, we'll see how they come up. So we'll Again, this is only the way I do it. Unscrew the cap, lid off. I turn the machine back on. I find this is the easiest. Oh, they look nice. They, this is the easiest way. So I just get I rip the thinnest nail I can find. Gonna, this, this is the problem with this dry media. Is you've got to dig it out of all the flash holes. And then hold it up against the side of the tumbler, and it just forces the thing out, and you can look straight through it, and that's fine. So that's how they. I'll just do one. And then I've got, I've got a nice little baby's rug. Nice, really soft, fluffy baby's rug. I get it and polish, wipe the shell over, wipe it over, I rub the end like that. And look at that, that, that's come up like new. All right, and that is what we started with. Not the nicest in the world. Not brilliant, not terrible, but not brilliant. And uh, after all our buggerising around, that's what we finished up with. That, that's quite nice brass, that. That's quite nice. So if you stack them up against each other like that, up here, that's that's what we started with. That's what we finished with. So that's worth it. I'm quite happy with that. Now I've got uh, another 193 of these to pull out, so I'm not going to bore you with those. So um, thanks for watching. That's that's just how we do it with just just car polish, car polish and dry media. Um, it's not the hardest thing you'll ever do. It basically polishes itself while we go away and do other things. And the time consuming bit's pulling it all out and digging all the media out, but you know, that's the way it goes. You can do, do that in your own time. But uh, again, simple, cost effective. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Always chasing subscribers. Um, any comments are appreciated. Good ones preferably, but see how we go. And uh, that's it from me till next time. So remember, go two clicks up. See ya.